Warning, some viewers may be too serious to enjoy the following video. Yo, what's up, dudes? It's currently 6 a.m. and I'm here in New Jersey where it's a nice, lovely 11 degrees. And I'm not kidding, it's literally 11 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I was fortunate enough to get invited to Icebreakers Media Day at SeaWorld Orlando, so I'm going to Orlando for the day. Apparently it's cold in Florida right now, but cold for Florida is probably really warm for here, so I'm gonna take it, but let's go, let's go send it. And I'm heading to the lovely Trenton Airport, which is like the smallest airport I've ever been to. I love it. Update, it's now 10 degrees. So I love how everyone here has like full suitcases and everything, and I literally just have a backpack. Like, I'm just going through the day. It's a day trip. Since we're at an airport, let me pour out my fresh morning lean. I almost finished it. So this little building right here, that's the whole terminal. This is our ship. It was a bright sunny day, and El Toro Ryan was searching for credits. He was flying past Tippy Toppy Peak when all of a sudden he looked down and saw something very surprising. Wow, is that a credit? All right, guys, I'm in Orlando. Thanks to Austin, he picked me up for the airport. Um, you guys probably already follow his channel, but if you don't, check out Amusement Insider on YouTube. Post some sick. All right, I'm at SeaWorld now, a little early for the event. I could have hung out with Austin and them, but why go hang out with friends and ride roller coasters? So I'm gonna do that. Literally haven't been here in three years. So like literally the first time I met Mark, you're gonna see Mark in a little bit. Three years ago when we went to Mexico, that was the last time I was at SeaWorld Orlando. So I'm like really excited. So Manta is like half painted. Um, I guess they started painting it and they realized the park was way too slammed and cracking was closed also. So they reopened this one, but that just looks really funny. Do you have an addiction to riding roller coasters and also eating? Chances are if you're watching this video, yes, you're a coaster enthusiast and we all know coaster enthusiasts love to eat. I mean, what else does ACE stand for? Our favorite airtime machines feature seating and restraint combinations that are quite limited in size. This can be quite the annoyance when you've eaten way too much and now can't fit on your favorite coasters. Well, let me introduce you guys to the perfect thing to eat to help you fit on your favorite coasters. Magic Spoon, a healthy cereal that tastes too good to be true. It's perfect for adults like me as it brings back the cereal I loved as a kid but without the guilt. Every serving of Magic Spoon contains 0 grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, 4 net grams of carbs, and only 140 calories. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. There's all sorts of different flavors. Of the four flavors I've tried so far, I'd say my favorites are fruity or peanut butter. Magic Spoon is the perfect cereal if your New Year's resolution is to drop weight fast, get in shape, and fit on your favorite roller coasters. Click the link in the description to get some Magic Spoon cereal today to help you accomplish your health goals in the new year and fit on your favorite coasters. Grab a variety pack and try it today. Be sure to use my promo code ElToroRyan at checkout to get $5 off any order or go to magicspoon.com slash Ryan. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below and use the code Ryan for $5 off, or go to magicspoon.com slash Ryan to save $5 today. My first time trying to film a ride with my own GoPro. The last time I did this was with Luke E94's GoPro at SeaWorld in San Antonio. Manta is definitely one of the more intense um, B&M flying coasters. The last really intense one I've been on is Flying Dinosaur at uh, Universal Studios Japan. And now I'm gonna ride this also. So I'm really excited. You're just supposed to good positive Jeep. Let's see how it goes. Day here. 
It's about 11.40 now. The media event starts at 2. So I'm going to go and try and ride everything before that because I don't know what we're going to do after the event. I'm going to try to go, I guess, Kraken next. I even Journey to Atlantis. I haven't been on that in years, so I think I'll try that. Oh, is it? Ah, never mind then. Here you can see the cherry picker they have that they're using to repaint this right now. Happy they have it open right now because I would have been super bummed if it was closed. But. Journey to Atlantis is definitely closed. I really got to stop coming to this place in January. It's been 10 years since I've ridden this thing. RIP. The Kraken's open. Repainted. Also, shouts out to Beeman the Antagonist for providing the attire for today. Got this fresh Beavis and Butthead shirt. I think it's from Japan and I just finally got my hands on. But yeah, thank you, Beeman. Thank you for doing something nice for once. Stupid ride, <laughs> stupid idea, stupid man. All right, now we're on Kraken. Just like a super dope B&M Florida's poster. From what I remember, it's really forceful and intense, so let's see if it's still kicking It's got a nice brand new, like, green, vibrant uh, color scheme with, like, dark blue supports. I think I like it, it pops, it pops. I was talking to Austin and he was like, nah, man, like, they don't need Six Flags looking colors. And I'm like, yeah, it is kind of like a Six Flags looking color, but I don't know, it looks good. Maybe Six Flags knows ride colors. Still super dope. Honestly, I really don't remember it being rough like that, but I don't even care. That was so good. All right, it's time to get back on Mako. It's been three years also since I've been on this too. Only running one train, got left Sea World, but hopefully it's even better than I remember. Let's see. I just don't like the second half. First half though is crazy. that candemonium was better and i'm gonna take that back mako is better still don't think it's the best bnm piper like i probably still put goliath at uh six flags over georgia over this but yeah that first half is just super powerful so it slaps that that first like bank turn after the mid course if you're on like the left side of the train like eats you up it's pretty dope so it's a good ride all right we're back on mako i've got friends this time we've got mark nick and chris <laughs> we're descended <laughs> yo guys go i think Kraken looks really good Okay, so I think it looks amazing, but I, I do understand why some people are like it. The childhood colors are gone. Like those, those colors are iconic. They right? were they were so iconic. Yeah. I don't like how the train flashes the new colors. <laughs> but it, but it looks like a sea creature. Yeah. Oh, I hate the colors. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's over now. Oh man, you guys have been in a long time. It's crazy. 
That's sick. That's so good. We're in. We're here for media day. We got Mark. Guys, we're back. Let's go. It's already written it like 10 times. Actually, actually. guys, I got tired like of it. 10 times. Morning. Can I show you guys some of our swag? So we got a fresh <laughs> icebreaker. You could put ice in here, like a round cube of ice, you know, for your cocktails at home. We got this fresh bean. I'm Super gonna wear this nice. everywhere I go in Florida. You know, Shouts out to SeaWorld. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's freezing down here right now. <laughs> 10 degrees in Jersey, right 6 now. degrees here. A new uh, Iron Gawazi, I mean icebreaker. Yeah. It's gonna slap. They have like a icebreaker burger and drink or something. It's really a blue burger. It looks amazing. That penny spoiled! <laughs> This is the patties that's the SpongeBob. Oh, and SpongeBob, the color patties. The yeah, color, the color they patties. have them. Pretty patties available in six designer colors. <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> yes, you will invent the color patties. All right, so we're going in now for our first ride on Icebreaker. Well, my first ride, he's been riding this like all morning. He's like, during like a strict commercial shoot where they couldn't scream. Hopefully, we can yeah. scream this time. And this time, I can put my hands up, guys, so I'll be able to get some solid air time. Oh, yeah, we gotta get solid yeah. air time for sure. It's a poor view. First ride in well, my first ride in Icebreaker, you're like 30th ride in Icebreaker. <laughs> that was the same. We got Road 2. Really good. It's a solid ride, honestly. Like, combine that with the rest of the coasters I already have here. It's a solid park. You know, this is great. Yeah, I think it has like the craziest airtime in the park. You know, guys? It like, really honestly really does. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mako's got way more sustained air, but the, the strength of this airtime is just nice. you know, like two so good. Air so good. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Park, seriously. So. Yeah. It's, it's on the map now. The first half was gonna be boring and the second half would be the real star of the show. Complete opposite. Yeah, I would first agree. half is better than the second half. Oh absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second half kinda like lulls for a little bit. Yeah. But like I think the first half though is like well, it speeds up, you know, like when it's not like the war, yeah. the yeah. Yeah, right. like bone crushing positive <laughs> 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 Seriously, yeah. It's definitely a card row ride. Oh, oh, it is. Is oh yeah, I think so. I, I think the back is better actually. But I don't make yeah. I wore a collared shirt. Thank you. <laughs> I'll push this. Push Cheers. this. Cheers, man. Mine already popped out. I just popped yours there. All right, we got that pretty patty. You want to show it off, Mark? All right, guys. So I'm gonna put this brioche bun on top. <laughs> Look oh, at this. Oh, it's literally the sesame blue. seeds. I heard this burger came from Antarctica, just like the first one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are gonna try the first bite of our pretty patty. First bite, Orlando. We got style. jam in here, bacon, some white cheddar cheese. Try it out. Something, right? It's bussing. It's bussing, guys. That jam is <laughs> it's kicking. It's good. It's dope, man. It's got dope. a little bit of a good sweet tangy taste to it. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. All right, guys. We're going for a back row ride. Well, almost back row, but row eight. So that's close enough. Uh, close enough. Close enough. We just did row seven, and that was insane. So let's try this again now. Row eight. Let's see how this goes. We got that non wheel seat. We'll take two at the back. We're in row seven now. Close enough. Austin from Houston Insider was cool enough to lend me his battery. So now we're gonna try again at the back. This is a really good ride, by the way. Especially in the back, like it's insane. I literally just wanna keep doing the double up into the top hat. Like, yeah, oh my god. The, the first, like, yo, oh, you get murdered. Oh my god, 
That's so good. So we finished up at Icebreaker Media Day and now we're at Icon Park. <laughs> Gonna go I on. I grind guys to my home. We oh, have yeah. the world's tallest freestanding drop tower right next to the world's tallest slingshot ride. Like what? That's crazy. It looks like they're combined. Like, I'm like, holy shit. It's gonna slap. Get a slap, guys. Yeah. Why are you so tense, my brother? You was drinking liquid curry. You had the liquid curry. You should be ready, man. You should have no fear in you. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Ah! Oh my god. We're on the world's tallest slingshot ride here, man. Right, Apparently, it was 100 miles per hour. Guys, you can come here, you can see me. Yeah, I'm Mark, always here. Yeah. Yo, come say hi to Mark. <laughs> I'm not in school or getting SPF visas. You know? yes. We're here on the, what's this? The uh, Orlando Freefall. Orlando Freefall. Yeah. Tall, world's tallest drop tower, 430 feet tall, 78 miles per hour, I believe. Um, this is gonna be real sick. Doing this at night, so you're gonna get a good view of Orlando. All the lights and stuff. Fun fact, guys, to get through at you. I used to work at the Starfly. The Starfly is taller than this. It's 430. The Starfly is 450. But the actual gondola goes almost 100 feet higher than the star of the Starfly goes up. I already feel like the temperature dropping, yeah, wind picking your up. Your ears are going to pop. Like, so this once is, we hit this, this is the tower, we're be exactly at the top of the slingshot. All right, so we're about to hit Giga, Giga height. <laughs> about to hit Giga. But then we're going to Strata, though. <laughs> We've been recording for a minute already, and we're still yeah. not at the top. Oh, look, there goes the... Uh, that's just like, oh, like 10 minutes ago. Oh, my God. Do you guys see that? <laughs> it's like they just fell out. Like, yeah, I'm nervous for you. you yeah, this is oh insane, my God. right? Do you guys view. see this? Oh, my God. The view, though, is crazy. Oh. I can totally see this ride scaring the shit out of people. Oh, my this God. This is the scariest people I've ever been on. Like it's like 430 feet. Like, just, like, like the GPS, like, don't. It's like the camera's not gonna do it justice, but like just looking down, oh my god. You know? I feel like so many people ride this have like a heart attack. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like the number one job. That was insane. <laughs> yeah, come to Icon Park. Ride the drop tower, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, here we go. Just look at that, guys. Oh. And then your feet just come nicely back to the ground. Come on, you have Eric Cartman socks on. I do. <laughs> yep, got Red. Cartman. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. That was an insane day. Like, today was crazy. Like, Mark is taking me back to the airport now. It's like a fly back to New Jersey. Dude, today was so sick. Today was so fun. Dude, I'm, like, I'm just happy, Ryan. Like, you came down again. Like, I was like, bro, we need to do a trip soon. Like, absolutely. It wasn't a trip, but like, it was kind of a trip. It was kind of a trip. We did multiple parks in one oh, day. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, it's yeah. crazy. We, we, we hit parks. We hit parks. parks. You know, yeah, all yeah. these rides. The icebreaker is dope. Icon Park is insane. For yeah. sure. You guys definitely gotta check that yeah. stuff out. Yeah, you have to come to Icon Park. Like, yeah, say hi to Mark. Yeah, just come, <laughs> come ride with this drop tower. Like, I want everyone's opinion on this drop tower, please. Like, I think it's me. better than Sumatra. I, I think it's better than, like, Intamin is kind of, like, my favorite. And, like, I think it's better than any Intamin drop tower I've ever been on. Like, it's honestly, really good. It, it's, it's insane. crazy. It's I don't insane. know. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all the other videos that we're going to be posting for, like, Icebreaker and all the new rides. Oh, yeah. Probably yeah. by now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give Mark a follow on Instagram. He's Mark-904. Underscore 904. Mark underscore 904 on Instagram. Yeah. I'll link that right down below. And uh, yeah, guys, peace. Okay.